Outside the U.S. Supreme Court, Donald Trump's attorneys tried to convince justices that the former president has wide-ranging immunity from prosecution in an election interference case. Shannon Bream is following the case at the nation's highest court and brings us up to speed. We're yes. writing a rule for the ages. It is a task for the history books. After nearly three hours of arguments, the nine justices must now wrestle with whether a former president has some measure of criminal immunity for acts taken while he was in office. Which of the January 6th related allegations were the private actions of candidate Trump versus something officially within the purview of then President Trump? Many of the justices signaled their thinking far beyond the case at hand and trying to gauge the real life fallout of resolving those complex debates, including Justice Alito. If a, an incumbent who loses a very close, hotly contested election knows that a real possibility uh, after leaving office is not that the president is going to be able to go off into a peaceful retirement, but that the president may be criminally prosecuted by a bitter political opponent. Alito asking whether that would lead the country into a cycle that ends up destabilizing democracy. While Justice Jackson worried about the implications of the court granting sweeping criminal immunity for all future presidents. If the potential for criminal liability is taken off the table, wouldn't there be a significant risk that future presidents would be emboldened to commit crimes with abandon while they're in office? Those questions also provoking other justices to ask about whether a president can actually pardon himself in advance in the waning days of his administration in anticipation of facing possible criminal charges after leaving office. Justice Kagan noted the framers did not include a presidential immunity clause in the Constitution. They were reacting against a monarch who claimed to be above the law. Wasn't the whole point that the president was not a monarch and the president was not supposed to be above the law? At the Supreme Court, Shannon Bream, Fox News. If the court operates as it usually does, there will be a private vote behind closed doors today. From that point, the work of writing the opinions begins, and during that process, votes can and sometimes do change. A decision is due by the end of the term in late June.